Okay, I have a very simple flow here. Collect some information. You can see, I can collect some information. Um, now, suppose that I am here in a on a case page, and I want that flow to run anytime I change this case page. So if I edit it, I want that flow to run. Or if something else happens that causes that record to change, I want that flow to run. So let's see how that works. Here I'm going to go and change, I'm going to change the priority. And you can see here that the flow automatically and immediately ran in a sub tab. And it's right here. And that's console mode. Here I am in non, I'm not in console mode. I can have the same thing happen. I can go here and say change the status to working. And it runs this flow. My record is right here. Uh, so uh, that's uh, pretty easy to accomplish uh, with a new component that's just called detect and launch. And it's an invisible component. So what it does is it sits invisibly on this screen. It's actually right down here being all invisible. So if we go take a look at it, uh, you can see uh, that it's right here it's called detect and launch and I'm passing it the name of the flow that I want to run and this will automatically pass to the flow the record ID of the current page uh, and that's basically it so this is a screen component uh, that will show up you wouldn't add this to a flow you actually add this to a record page uh, and so it will show up in your app builder palette as a custom component